So I decided on the 1st of January, January, I am going to do everything that I can to change my life. Yeah, then I started to change and I thought, oh, wow, this really works, right? And if I can, if I can apply it to this, then I can apply it to, to anything that I want to create. What would be a belief about myself or about that specific future? Um, that is standing in the way between what I really want and where I am right now. If I think about my future, I'm generating a different frequency uh, just by thought alone, right? So I think about it, I get more, I, I sit more upright or I walk more upright and then in the specific moment I am walking like it. Everything you want is at the other side of the door, yes. literally, yes. literally. And the only thing in between that is your own resistance. Our next guest is Christine Bijnen, uh, a.k.a. CosmicLife.nl. Con- uh, Christine, you're considered to be one of the top, top, top manifestors, manifesting experts in the Netherlands. Wow. Don't want to put you under any pressure. No, no. <laughs> it's good to see you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Mm. Christine. Uh, if you look at your life, and we, we've had many conversations already, um, can you share a little bit with us about your previous life? Okay. Because you uh, are into manifesting and Joe Dispenza and creating your reality right now, but you had a different life before. I had a totally different life before. So if I would compare my life before as a, as it is right now, then it's... I've been radic- radically changed and dramatically changed my life in, I would say, um, a short amount of time. Well, it's not; it did not co- become came overnight, of course, but relatively fast. So, what I did before is that I was working in a large Dutch corporate, and <clears throat> I was living like the normal life, so without any spiritual. Um, influences without doing anything about personal development. I was just, I was doing what I thought that I should do. So I I did, I studied economics and I really thought about this before this interview, but I did my studies because I wanted to prove something. And I didn't choose my studies economics to, because I really liked it. But, but because I thought it was a strategically good choice. So in order to make a lot of money with it and that the job applications, that it would go everything very easy because I had a good education. So everything I did before was strategically and I did everything with my analytical mind. So I overanalyzed everything and I did not listen to what I really wanted to do in my life. So was I successful by in this old life? Yes, I was. Not maybe as the potential that I'm living at this moment, but I was, in a way, I was successful. I mean, I had a good job. I did make my money. I, um, the people outside of me thought that I was living a happy life because I could go to New York, I could do my trips, go to Paris with friends, go out. Uh, having dinner, having parties, whatever. But basically this life was, um, I really struggled and nobody saw that really because to the outside world it was, oh, you know, she's a okay uh, looking younger woman, Uh, she has this job at a good corporate, she's doing a very interesting work, you know, so people always thought, oh, she must be very happy and but in the meantime, I really, I struggled so, so much. And I actually was, came to a point that I thought that I almost died. So... Um, can you describe the struggle a little bit? Yeah, I, I can describe the struggle. And it actually started already when I was writing my thesis, uh, my master thesis. So I have been doing my thesis at a um, Dutch central bank. And I wanted to prove again 
to probably my family, um, that I was able to do scientific research. And it became such so stressful because I wanted to prove, really prove and, and work hard and stress over everything. And so it actually became a moment in time in my life where I started to develop a fear big fear of fail, uh, having failures. Yes. Um, I developed fears of going actually to uh, public speaking, for example. It was really difficult for me. Um, I came to a point where I had to, and I think this, this made it even worse, so all my fears, that, <laughs> that I, was, um, I was sitting at a desk with my professor and he told me, because I was doing quite difficult mathematical research uh, at that time, and my professor told me, can you, here, here's a paper, and I'll, he, he handed over me a pen and he said, can you please write down the mathematical formula that you are researching at this moment? So these were translog cost functions, and I'm not going to bother anyone, you know, with these mathematical... Oh, please do, please do. <laughs> <laughs> but, we love this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it really installed a really big fear of, of, of being a big failure uh, within me, and... You know, when I had my, when I did my scientific research and it was published in, in really good uh, peer-reviewed um, international journals, I thought that I would get the recognition that I was really looking for, but I didn't. So, no, you know, m m my family was proud, of course, but I didn't get what I, what I was really looking for, you know, to be lovable, to be... Um, that somebody would say, you know, I'm so proud of you that you did this, you know, yes. and being accepted. So they were proud, but they didn't say it? Or? Uh, one half of my family was really proud, Yes. Uh, but the other half of my family probably was proud as well, but I didn't... I come from a family that uh, is very scientific, so I wanted to prove but they didn't tell me, oh, wow, uh, you know, uh, great, you're now part of the uh, mm. <laughs> uh, part of the, uh, the gang, you know, right? So you right? wanted the recognition. Oh, that's really what I wanted for, yes. what I was looking for all my life. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. then after that, I, um, I got to work in Vienna for the Dutch embassy, mm. and there it actually started getting really worse. So all my fears uh, got even more and bigger. And, and again, I, I'm trying to understand, what was your primal fear? The, the fear was... <laughs> of failing. Failing, okay. Yeah, failure, and of not yeah. being good enough. Okay. Not being good enough, not okay. being smart enough. Be not and being was it like trying to fit in or...? To, not really trying to fit in, because I think I've, I did fit in, but um, it, was, it was a fear of not being good enough. I wanted yes. to be so... show that I was so smart or something, you know... <laughs> <laughs> that I was really good and I wanted, you know, uh, I thought, okay, if I'm going to work, then I'm going to be a big career and I'm going to, you know, uh, that was really what I really yeah. wanted. Yeah. Oh, but I was such a fight and it was such a struggle. And so after that, uh, working for three years, I came back to the Netherlands and I started to work for this big Dutch uh, corporate and it got even worse. And fear. Yes, yeah. it got even worse. And I could not, and it was really difficult because I had to present stuff to the, to the board. And every single day that I stepped into the, um, into the building fr from my car or from my, uh, from my bike, the step towards the door was really tough. Yes. Because I was trembling, yes. really. You know, I was trembling to, uh, that I, I thought that I would need to show myself and yes. I, that I need to um, show that I'm good enough, show that yes. I'm smart. And Prove yourself. Off. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, I started, I, I remember one day that I was in a meeting and I thought, why is it not possible for me to be in a meeting, you know, with all my colleagues and just sit down and do my story for whatever, I mean, how can this be so difficult? So I went to the toilet and I did a prayer because I've been raised a uh, Christian, I did a prayer and nothing, it didn't help. So I went to, uh, um, to a shrink and he told me to meditate. And now, back then I was 31. And I remember I was meditating and I thought this is, I was, you know, I was impatient. So nothing really worked for me. Um, <laughs> 
Okay, now I'm not going to tell this. But anyway, it got way worse and worse. Mm. So at the end of this whole ride, uh, I started to get sick. And my body was, you know, telling me, okay, um, I was pressing buttons all over the place. So I was having so much stress on my body, but it was me all the time, of course, that was giving me the stress. I mean, my story was giving my stre- me stress. So it got uh, worse, and I, I got um, out of the blue allergies. So I would eat something, and then um, totally from head to, not, not toe, but until here, all kinds of weird allergies that I didn't go out anymore, you know. Um, I don't, didn't want to go on the street. So, and it was my, my fear of public speaking became so worse that I couldn't even be among my own family. It was, it was really horrible. And um, so I started to get hair loss. I started to get all kinds of weird, uh, you know, complications. I slept, uh, my, my sleep was horrible, uh, well, everything. So my, my body was really pushing all the buttons to show me, stop. And it was actually your soul <laughs> of sabotaging your life yes, yes. to get you back on the right course. Yes, yeah. yes. So when that actually happened, um, so I was in my 36, so it was 2016, and, and I really started to also feel that, I, that there was something more. There must, there, I, I felt deep down inside of me that there must be something different. And I remember... Uh, I did do drink a lot of alcohol in the weekends, but not, you, you know... You still do. <laughs> I still like to drink yes. wine, and I really, yes. really enjoy, uh, really enjoy, uh, yes. but with a different intention. Yes. So the intention was to get me drunk within... To numb yourself out? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, to numb knock myself out within, yeah. within an hour or two. Yeah. yeah, and then go home, and then, yeah. So there was a different intention. So I remember that I, uh, it was um, very classical uh, 1st of January and I woke up, you know, completely wasted. And I thought, okay, this is not, you know, I, I struggled in my job because I really wanted my own team. And they told me, oh, Christine, you know, we are very proud of you. You're doing everything very well. But, but first you will have to do three years business development or yes. something like that or yes. whatever. A different role, and then then you are ready. So, and that was the moment that I broke. I thought I've been working so hard, and and I, I just just every everything broke. So my health broke down. Uh, things started to to break and tremble. My 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 private life was was trembling, and um, so I decided on the first of January. January, I am going to do everything that I can to change my life. And I don't know how, and I don't know, no, I mean, I really thought I need my whole life, 10 shrinks, yes. to, to, to solve this whole kind of shit. You so know? you were in a deep crisis. I was in a really, really deep, deep crisis. Yeah. But this very moment, I remember until this day as it was yesterday because it was a decision that I made. I, ma- I made such a firm commitment that in itself it it, it, it was like a power or, or energy that was exploding. You know, so and that was the moment that I started to open up for spirituality. I started to open up myself for things that I've been pushing away already. You know, like for a long time. So, so f- f- for my understanding, yeah. let's say the old. Christine, how did she look at spiritual development and spirituality? I pushed it all away. Yes. So you thought it was nonsense, or I I didn't think it was nonsense, but I just thought, oh, I don't want to have to do anything with that kind of thing. Yes, it's for woo woo people. It's yeah, for, yeah, yeah, things like that. I yes. yeah, yes. that it's for the rainbow rainbow people. Yeah, 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 yeah. for the tree huggers. Tree and, huggers uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you start to shine now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah I, I kept myself very far yeah. away from that, and so then I thought, okay, I, I opened up because I was such so hopeless, you know, yes. that I thought you had nothing to lose. <laughs> I got nothing to lose. <laughs> Let's go with the tree. Let's go with everything, you know. So yeah. I tried out everything. Yes. I did everything, 
almost you can imagine, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, what re- what really happened is that uh, I started to go to church. That uh, helps. Yeah. It helped. Yes, it can. It, it, prayer can help. Yeah, I did, yeah. and I really started doing intuitive prayers, and oh, yeah. not not knowing what I was really doing, but every day before I went to my job because I was still in the in the, in the job, uh, I did pray. You know, I did pray to. Uh, I was just sitting down twenty minutes, my head so, like that, hands on my heart. And, and, and asking to help me to become a powerful woman and to regain my um, my uh, yeah my my secure my um, uh, how I would feel about myself and I would mm. yeah to become a wise and strong woman you yes. know and to be grounded and everything like that and then yeah things started to open up and I opened up and I saw it uh, saw it as a big uh, incredible new journey. <laughs> And, but and can you be specific about that in terms of what opened up? What what was the tiny change that you experienced? Mm, I started to to be to feeling more gratitude around me and and things that ch- I I changed. So before I was, I know now my mindset and everything was based on scarcity, lack, fear. I was having a lot of frustrations, discussions. Oh, I had so much anger, you know, in in my whole system, and I always accused somebody else of being, you know, I was I was the victim, and I started to see that slowly started to see that that, that it was a diff- that that if I wanted to be something else or someone I wanted to have a different life that I, you know, that that doesn't fit into so, into a person who is abundant and who is um, who is strong and who is secure. And um, so I started to really slowly change, actually. And then I, there was a moment that I really, that I even hit my knees. So I, <laughs> I, I, there was a, I read something on the internet and that said, okay, if you really want help and you want to change your life, get your knees on the floor and pray to, mm-hmm. to, to get help. And uh, I was so helpless so that's exactly what I did. So I started, I, I felt I, I was being humble, humbled down actually really by life and uh, hit my knees and I just prayed for help. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and what happened? <laughs> um, people started showing up in my life uh, to, uh, to open up my... Um, to show me the way, uh, books and and YouTube videos and everything started to 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 come my way. Uh, to and and then I really started to you know get in touch and we are going to talk about it probably later. But you know I started to see and to understand why my life was and was the way it was, basically. So I understood that I that I was telling myself a story over and over and over again and even worse I, I looked for confirmation of that being the truth everywhere in my life and I'm, I'm, I'm interested because you now have a new course money love story and we will talk about yes. it but how would you describe that story you were telling yourself at the time I was that story was the story of of, of being unsuccessful and not being uh, not being worthy of uh, of having a life that which is rich and filled with with health with love with with abundance in in every way that you can imagine and so you know I I really felt that I I was here for something else than than that I was doing back time my job and it, it it's a, it was a feeling inside really that got me. So I, I I started praying every day and asking the questions like what am I what am I doing here, how can I be of sir how be, how can I be how can I add value, how can I be of service, um, what are my talents because I thought okay I'm I'm good at, I mean I, I can do many things I'm not you know I'm I'm not at my six years like Mozart that started playing the piano, I'm not like that I mean I I can I I have a broad spectrum of things that I can learn and that I can be good at 
So I thought, yeah, you know, what, <laughs> what should I do? Yes. <laughs> it was, so so it was you like were experiencing that. little signs from, let's say, the universe, little synchronicities that helped yeah. you on your path? Yes, yeah. that really helped me on my path. And can you give a little, ex can you give an example? Yeah, so um, what, what I started to get interested first in my health first, because uh, I was experiencing hair loss and I, my, my skin was very bad. So I, uh, I started really looking into health first, because if you are a woman, nobody likes this. So um, I went to the US because I found a guy on the internet, which is called Lou Corona, and he's still a big inspiration for Lou me. Lou Corona? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a great name. <laughs> a great name in these times. <laughs> Uh, it's very funny, but he is a, um, a raw vegan, but uh, very, very spiritual. And I, uh, it was the first time in my life, and I was still in my job, uh, that I spent really a lot of money on personal uh, development. Because if I go, once I go all in into something, I really go all in. So I didn't care. I booked my ticket to uh, to uh, California to meet the guy and to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, session with him. And he was telling me about if you want something, you need to have a connection with this thing up above. You know, this this higher intelligence, and you can meditate on it. And it's really simple as that. And if you meditate on it, then you will. It will come to you. And he started showing me that, that there is so much potential in everybody. And I I didn't understand everything what he was saying. I thought, oh, really? But um, uh, he really, he gave me the book, um, a, a Power versus Force. Yes. Yes. And it was my first. Is this Stephen Hawking? Or am I yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And it made so much sense to me that yeah. everything was energy and that um, that, that different um, feelings have vibrations. And it, 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 so it, it, that was my, that opened me to this whole world of manifesting and, and the world of energy and frequencies and what we're going to talk about. So I actually, I, I was raw vegan for, I would say a year or so. Uh, but I knew I wasn't there for the raw vegan. I was there to be introduced into the field of manifesting. And I, it re really was so fascinating to me. Yes. So that so. was your first encounter with the idea of manifesting. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So in the meantime, I was doing my prayers. Like every day, what, what am I doing here? What, what am I coming here? How can I be of service? And then I think, so this was about 2017 or 18 maybe, and I was reading everything that I could. So I was, if I go, if I would go to my work in the morning, I would read, walking, you know, out of the <laughs> train station, I would read my book until the moment I went uh, through the door of my job. So I was really, you know, hooked and obsessed by, by everything now that was spiritual and but at the time you were still working. I in was the, still working in there. In the cor corporate world. In the corporate or, world, yeah. 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 <clears throat> and then um, there was one evening that I was listening to uh, Gabriel Bernstein and I was cooking and I was having my iPad on the side listening to a speech of her in which she was talking about miracle workers. And she said in this, in, in something like this, like in, in these moments of time, we, need, we really need more mi miracle workers. And suddenly, I really felt here, in my heart, of course, like, this is what I want to do, you know? And it was a really fake job description, right? Being a miracle worker, I mean, what's that, you know? Yes. And, but I, I knew, it, it struck me, you know, with such a, a big energy, probably, that I, I really started glowing, and I thought, yeah, th this is really what I want. Um, not knowing how, what, when, or what it is. So I thought, okay, where can I send my job description, you know, to the team of Gabriel? But of course not. But I thought, this is what I really want. And um, so then my next fear came up, and that was <laughs> saying goodbye to my old life. 
and then saying, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm really choosing a path, not knowing of what is going to happen, but I'm, I will have to stop. And, and also everything in me told me there is no, not, I, I couldn't do it anymore. So at the, I, there was not even one single second that I, uh, that I could do it anymore, literally. So my whole spirit was telling me, it's time to stop. So there was a moment where you decided to stop yes. with the corporate job. Yes. 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 And how did your environment, your family, friends, how did they respond? Well, the most of them, of course, were like very negative. Yes. Saying like, are you really crazy? I mean, you, you are working in a golden cage. Uh, yeah, you're But living still in a cage. <laughs> But you really have, you know, like your 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 uh, everything is arranged for you. Uh, you can make career and you know make a lot of money and things like that. And are you really crazy? You know. And I mean, this is not for everybody. But I really quit. Like I quit. Cold so, turkey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So not every anything in between. Uh, I just say okay. I, yes. I'm I'm I'm, yeah. I'm done. And then, then you have no more job, and then? And then you have to trust. Trust, yeah. <laughs> Because you have to start from scratch. Yes. Really from scratch. And I, I really did not have, I didn't know anybody in this whole world, in wh where I am now. So, um, and, and actually, um, this is really weird to tell, but I, I, I remember that, um, so I was really studying already a lot, you know, in, in, in the field of quantum, in the field of neuroscience, And um, I know I came from the toilet on a Sunday morning and <laughs> I was walking into, the, uh, into our room and I suddenly I got this download of, you know, of, of how I wanted to, you know, put this, everything that I had learned up until that moment, how I could put that in a structure so that anybody, so I could teach it to other people. Um, um, it just came to me. So I thought, oh, uh, well, this is a chapter, or this is uh, step one, step two, step three, three. So it just came to me. And then and I thought, okay, okay, this is cool. And then I thought, can, wouldn't, wouldn't he bear, uh, it would be very nice if there was someone that I could help with what I know right now. And the moment that I spoke these words, I received a phone call. And it was from a girlfriend who was really in, in, you know, in, in desperate trouble. And I said, okay, but I can help you. And she said, oh, this is so great. So she was my first, uh, there was a lady who was my first that I could try out, you know, all my... Uh, yeah. 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 So it all started for free, doing That's everything true. for yeah. free and, and just all from what yes. had helped me, how I can uh, teach that to others. Yes. So. so, and were you already into Joe Dispenza at that time? I was already. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I think Dr. Yo, yeah. you, you, you just came back from Mexico, yes. is one of your biggest, quote-unquote, teachers, right? Yeah, he's a very yeah. big inspiration, uh, yeah. very, very big, big inspiration for me. But also like Bruce Lipton, yes. uh, one of the names not so fam famous in the Netherlands, I think, is, is uh, Lynn McTaggart. Sure, yeah. She's doing a lot of research. Yes. I really She, like her research, yes. her experiments. She has, uh, I think, one of her first books was The Field. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then the other, I think, the power of eight was it? The power of eight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I've, I saw in Amsterdam yeah. talking about that. I mean, that's that's basically the power of intention and prayer. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I got so fascinated, you know, about all of this, and but it actually didn't came. I mean, okay, I thought, yeah, this is really cool, and uh, why didn't I learn this, uh, you know, in school and things like that, but. Actually, when I, I was really experiencing the magic, when I met the magic of it, when I started doing the things yes. and not reading, and I was reading and listening, and you know what everybody does who gets really really excited about uh, about something. Yes. But the real big changes started when I was doing it. So when I was getting into meditation, yes. when I was writing a new story about yes. myself and. Rehearsing this every day, sure. every single day, you know, filling my mind with yes. what I did want it yes. to see in my life. And so you were not, yeah. you were first reading it and then you were applying it and you were doing this on a consistent basis every day. Yes. Yeah. And that's the change, applying it. Yes. That was really, after three, four weeks, people started saying to me the exact 
same things that I was rehearsing in my mind. So it was my intention to become more calm, to be, to become more grounded, um, you know. And suddenly people started telling me, you know, around me, "Wow, you look, you know, something it's, is different. You know, something is different about you. What's it's your well, off. Your, wor- your words <laughs> and your thoughts create your reality. I think so. Your feelings yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think it's uh, yeah, it's, it's science, yes. of course, but. Yes. Um, but but I noticed the magic in the moment that, that I was in the doing. Yes. But I needed, I really needed the knowledge to understand how, why my life was until that moment, uh, why my life has been like it was. Yes. So you were saying n- n- new affirmations, like I am worthy or what yeah. kind of affirmations yeah, like like i had i had it i uh, i had written and this was intuitively yes. so this wasn't even this was even before i went to dr joe this was just intuitively from everything uh i had learned and i also listened to michael back with and you know all, yes. all these all these uh, uh, guys and it was just i wrote in my uh in my phone you have these notes right so i wrote in notes a new story about myself, how I wanted to feel, exactly I want to feel. I'm grounded, I'm more, um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm in balance. So I don't know if I have my phone, I can read it. But um, I still have it. So um, I would go in, in a meditative state. So I would slow my brain waves down for anybody who not, doesn't know what so it is. So you went into... Theta or yeah, alpha uh, or theta. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I mean, I can't measure. I don't. Ha- I don't yes, have the yes. technical stuff. But y- I, you notice, you know, when you're going into deeper meditative state, because the analytical mind shuts off, yes. right? So you become very suggestible yes. for new information, and um, so I could feel that when yes. I was very silent. Yes. And then um, now we know that there is a greater order going on, right, in the brain and in the heart when you slow your brain waves down. Yes. And um, I would get my phone, so I would actually go out of meditation, but I would still be in trance, and I would read it. And I would read, and I would feel uh, what I was reading. And the feeling uh, is the key. Yeah, yeah, the intention yeah. combined with the, with the emotion, of course. Yes. So I started really to reprogram myself, and after a few weeks... People started saying, "What, what did you? What are you taking? Kind of, what, what is the drug you're taking? You know, what are you, yeah. what are you doing different?" Yeah, yeah, but it's really interesting. In the beginning, when you start to do this, and I noticed this with a lot of people, is that you know you have those new affirmations and you say them, and you really want to feel the feeling of it while you do it. But that there's this mind going on. You know, I am grounded. No, you're not. Right? You have this yeah. inner dialogue going on. How did you deal with that? Well, um, for me. What I really wanted to change in that very specific moment is that I wanted to change my insecurity. Okay. Uh, so, no, I was jealous. Sorry. You were jealous? Uh, yeah, I was very jealous, yes. Um, uh, my, my, my boyfriend at the time. At him or no, well, women not at that him, were interested but at, in him? Or? <laughs> at his, uh, at the, 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 his attention towards other Oh, when he was uh, giving attention to other women. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. And um, that would really... You know, uh, I could, yeah, yeah, but but mm-hmm. but really, like, you know, like not normal. <laughs> you became so, angry, or uh, yeah, oh, very, <laughs> <laughs> very. So you know, I thought this is not normal. I, I could, I was at a point already. And maybe he told you this is not normal. And he told me this was not, <laughs> not very normal, but I also really thought yeah. myself, okay, this is not normal. Thanks. And I wanted to, I, I thought, okay, we could break up. That would be very easy for me, you know, because then I was, was get rid of the problem. Uh, but I thought this probably doesn't solve anything because when I have an ex-partner or then I would probably still have the same because it's my programming and it's, it's you know, what, um, so that was actually uh, why I started <laughs> doing the work. Wow. Yeah. Actually, was that because you had really trigger. big issues? There. I had really big issues, wow. so I started doing it. And yes. then, so my answer to your question is that when I started to get into meditation, I would feel this insecurity coming up, and I would. But I went just through it until the mo- t- until there came a moment in the meditation that I was feeling 
uh, relaxed and at ease. And that was the point that I started rehearsing his new story. And I got over it. Wow. <laughs> but, but really. So uh, I thought, wow. And you were still you know? in the relationship? Yes. With him. Great. yes. So mm-hmm. it actually improved the relationship? Uh, definitely. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I started to grow because probably I did not, I really hit probably some sweet spot because, you know, this, this insecurity, because that's basically what it uh, boil, boils down to. Um, so so really him changed. giving at- attention, let's say, to other women amplified your insecurity about yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because you thought they're more beautiful yeah, or nicer. Whatever, or, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Triggered me big time yeah, in, my, in my first three energy yeah. centers, yes. really. Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, then I started to change and I thought, oh, wow, this really works, right? And if I can, if I can apply it to this, then I can apply it to, to anything that I yes. want to create. So you changed this by saying affirmations and feeling it or how did you change it? So I changed it by, re- by writing a new story. Okay. About, I, I, write, I wrote a new truth okay. for myself okay. and I emotionally embraced it yes. in, 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 in such a strong way yes. that it became a new belief. And can you, you know, walk us through a little bit that new yeah. script yeah. so that we have an idea? Yeah. yeah. You mean what the script was, really? Yeah, the, 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 script, the, the new script that you wanted oh, to Oh, the let, new script? Yeah. Yes. yeah, well, I couldn't rehearse it, but... Uh, yeah, but you, was as it something like, I am... Uh, yeah, I am grounded, I'm balanced. Yes. And if I, and if I, I re- re- really remember this, of course, if I would say I'm balanced, this is really like a weird word to, to feel, yes. right? Because um, the, this quantum field only listens to what you are radiating out in this specific moment in yes. the now. Yes. So if you want to feel grounded, you will have to feel grounded now, not I, not it's something in the future, yes. uh, you know, to wish for, but you will have to feel now. Yes. So with... If it, I, sorry to interrupt you there, yeah. but is that because the subconscious mind only knows the present moment? Why is that, that it has to be in the now? Um, because this quantum field is only, uh, is, is only now in the present moment. So yes. everything is there in the now. Yes. So there, there is... Uh, because it's linear. Uh, yes. It's not linear. It's vertical, kind yes. of. So if you say, I will be this and this and this, it will always be in the future. It's, it's, it's yes. predict- by, by very definition yes. in the future. Yes. Yeah. So if I would feel like, if I would say, like, I am balanced, then I would see in front of me a... Um, uh, een weegschaal. A, uh, sorry. A, um, Scale, yeah. I would see I would see that. I, w- I would visualize that. And my body automatically felt this symbol of, of the symbol of the scale and would would balance me out like uh, yeah I, I it, it's difficult to explain you know but there was a feeling behind it there was a feeling behind it yes. and and um, so I always look for the supportive feelings of what I what I want to manifest now yes yeah and so yeah it was very interesting so I just wrote a new truth yes. and I started to emotionally embrace it until there came a moment that I became it. That you started to embody it. I just started to embody it. I started to look like it. I started to walk like it. I yes. started doing it, being it. Yes. And then in that moment, it, when you are it, then, then of course, <laughs> you, you radiate that frequency. Yes. So This is strange what I'm going to say now, oh. but if I look at you, yeah. I think about Madonna. Oh, really? Because she re- reinvented herself. Oh, and in a really? way, we could say yeah. that you reinvented yourself. Uh, I probably did, yes. yeah. 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 I, I, I think, um, well, well, of course, I started first doing what I love. Yes. And love what I'm doing. Um, but then, I, I know you were talking about this before, now, today already, but um, I found my purpose very clearly and there there I, I there are many times that it it we all have free will but it didn't feel like a really free will yes. you know uh, yeah we could yeah. say there is no such thing as free will there's only decision space yeah there is decision space yes and um, um, but I still had those programs running you know I had still had this fear of public speaking and uh, I still had that I still was so insecure uh, while I had my purpose already, wow. you know, so I I didn't dare to to take any videos of myself, you know, like going like this, and uh, no, 
I, I did really didn't. So if you, <laughs> if you, for example, you know, look at my account and you will scroll down, you don't see any picture of of myself. No. So I didn't dare to put myself out there in the beginning. So I really had to get over fear, over fear, over fear, overcome fears, setting new intentions, doing it, really becoming it, being it, and that is how I moved into where I am at the moment right now and mm. people may be saying like oh you have changed so much oh. and I think that is true yes I, a lot of people told me because we only met recently for the yeah. first time um, and I didn't know about your existence until Caroline who's here introduced me to you and um, a lot of people told me oh three years ago she was so different she she has transformed so much that's what uh, quite some people said so that that's like you know an incredible transformation if yes. people see it that clearly yes yeah so is that also your your feeling that you transformed yes. so much in the let's say past three years yeah incredibly yeah incredibly even uh yeah up to a point that i do look different and yes. uh um, not only because I uh, cut my hair, but but also you know <laughs> no, because, but but no, but really because I um, because I feel different yes. and I do different and yes. I I can speak with much more power you know when I'm when I'm teaching something yes. now it's it's different um, because I know it more yes. right now and and I started feeling more secure about yes. myself and I feel worthy yes. now and I I. I um, I feel different yes. from the inside. So it's really everything is an inside job yes. and then the rest will fall into place. Yes. But you wrote uh, the quote to me in the in the book. Uh, if you get in the, the inside right, yes. the outside will fall into yes. place. Yes, and that is actually what, what really happened. So all the time I, I do keep looking at myself as, okay, what do I really want? Why am, not, uh, am I not having it? Because if I would want something by very definition i have a program running that is not supporting it yes. so i would go back and look at myself and see what would be a belief about myself or about that specific future um that is standing in the way between what i really want and where i am right now yes and it's so clear to me that um i really had to let go of that old story of myself i really had to let go of her yes it, I had to say goodbye and yes. and really and was that an emotional uh, uh, decision? No, I don't know if it was really emotional, but it was conscious. Okay. It was a very conscious decision to um, to let really let go of a part that doesn't serve you anymore. And yes. I really see it if you really want to manifest something, whatever it is, that you have to become a different person. Okay. That that is radiating, you know, yes. that that frequency of what yes. you want, and that nothing really changes until you change. Yes. If you start thinking different, if you start feeling different, if you st start having, doing different, if you are more giving, if you are more feeling more gratitude, uh, then well, it happens so fast. Yes. I mean, it, I mean, if I look at my own development, it. It came to a point that it went really fast. So, and that is not long, not long ago. Yes. It was last year. So, um, I r had never thought in my whole life that I would be able to accomplish something <laughs> that, um, because my belief and my truth really was, you're not good enough. Yeah. <laughs> you're not worthy, you're not good I'm enough. I'm not worthy, I'm not smart, I'm not this, I'm not that. Yes. Uh, success is not really not written in my stars. Yes. And, and and it was, it's possible for everybody else, yeah, sure. Yes. Not for me. Yes. So, and, and I you believed, really believed it. That? I mean, yeah. I believed it then in it every single cell in my body. Yes. And it became yeah. a self-fulfilling prophecy oh. for me that that was my truth. Yes. And And... Looking, you know, at all the neuroscience and all the quantum physics, I just knew that I was telling myself a story that yes. was keeping me small, yes. and that was keeping me uh, that, that was binding me to the chains chains of, of my past. Really, yes. and um, I had to change. Yes. I could write a new story. So, so let's talk about how to change the story. I think okay. that's really interesting. Yeah. Um, I think there are basically. Two or three ways, but I think two 
big ways to change your story. One is trauma. It happens when people have a big shock or trauma. And the other one is through repetition, mm -hmm. right? Uh, in the beginning, you don't believe it. But if you start to repeat it and repeat it and you feel like it's already accomplished, like it's already manifested, mm -hmm. then at one point, point, you start to believe it. Yeah. But you can only learn to believe by feeling it and repeating it. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah. Because um, how we make... How do we make long-term memories? Is by is by having a thought and um, combining it with a strong yes. emotion. So this can be positive or negative, yes. right? So um, there, everybody has in his life, you know, a situation where there was a strong negative uh, emotion. You will remember it, yes. but it's the same goes for. Uh, having a positive memory. Yes. You will remember because yes. it, the, the energy was so high of that moment that it will make, the, the, the brain will make a snapshot of that very specific moment and the, the neurological connections get really strongly wired, yes. right? So what, we, what you want to do within this meditative process is that you really want ha to, to have the thought, your intention about really what you want and then emotionally embrace it and make it so real, you know, that, that, that it's almost like it's happening in the now. And this yes. happened to me many times now already. That, it, that I'm having one meditation that is so profound that I know that it is going to happen. And, and, so, and that only happens when you can have the, a very high, um, strong, elevated emotion combining with the intention because when you when you only have the thought without the emotion i mean you can say i am abundant i am abundant and i am abundant but you feel yes. lack 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 yes. right yes. so what happens is that the thought cannot go through the brainstem yes. and it doesn't you don't there there won't be such a thing as an energetic imprint so you really want to wire and to have a real energetic repro re reprogramming, basically. So Dr. Joe says that one of the most powerful emotions to infuse your new reality with that you want to manifest is gratitude. Is that the most powerful emotion that you could infuse it with? Um, in my opinion, uh, there are many different emotions in that higher range. Yes. Um, joy? Joy, love, of course. Uh, I mean, uh, inspiration, passion, uh, of course, gratitude. Yes. Uh, but, but how do you do it in terms of, um, you know, mechanics? Do you say, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have this and this and this that I want? Oh, okay. How, how are you, yeah. you're really looking for yeah. how, it's in yeah. how I do it in, yes, in exactly. practice. So, um, because I, I know, I, yeah. you know, when I went to Dr. Joe, when he was still in the Ramta school, we did like the, the walking meditation. For example. That's a great I example. Really like yeah. 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 Yeah, I really like him. Yeah, I really like him. And um, so what I would do, I would just, I, I mean, this is for everybody different, right? But yes. I try to have the thought and I let the thought create the emotion of, of, of the experience, right? So I would, I would make it in my mind by visualizing it, by making it so real. Or, or for example, I would say in my, in my future... I could imagine that I'm flying, that I'm packing my, need to pack my stuff now because I'm flying to, I don't know, whatever, Ibiza or, you know, whatever I want to experience in my future. But I make it so real as that I imagine packing my stuff now, booking, uh, you know, getting on the flight, really having, drinking the wine or whatever, the champagne or whatever. I make it so extremely real. In, in, so your, in, in your mind? In you my mind. You close your eyes and then in you see it? Is trance, that how you do it? In trance. So I go really, because this is super important, I think, if you want to um, create a new reality and create a new truth, a new story, is that um, the magic really happens when you go to a lower uh, brainwave frequency, right? Because now we're all in, be in the beta brainwave. Uh, you're listening to us and you, are, you have your analytical mind is switched on, right? You probably, now you're sitting here, but you probably think about what you have to do tomorrow, about your ex, about your, um, whatever you're thinking about, right? Your or you could also be in the now just listening to you. <laughs> it's also possible. It is also possible, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, your mind could wander yes. and it can yes. analyze and it, it does the analytical job, right? Um, but the thing is, 
that if you want to create this new life, that you have an intention and then you slow your brainwaves down so the analytical mind shuts off. So there won't be this little voice anymore saying that it's not possible what you are trying to manifest, right? Um, so if you want, for example, to manifest freedom or whatever, or I don't know, whatever, and but your mind would say this is not this is not possible or how is it going to happen because that is what we are used to you know uh, how yeah. and you want to control the outcome yeah. and control when it's going to happen but you um, actually this analytical mind gets shut off when you get into the present moment so when you go to this lower frequency but I, I noticed that when I am grateful um, I'm my my anal an analytical mind is shut off as well when I'm in gratitude, when I'm really in gratitude, when my heart is open. Of course, yes, because because there cannot be so many things at the same yes. time. I mean, you feel that and yes. you don't feel lack. If you yes. feel gratitude, you cannot feel lack at the yes. very same moment. Yeah, Bruce Lipton says the, the best time to do it is early in the morning when you just wake up, when you're still groggy, but because then the anal analytical mind is shut off. Yeah. And then right before you go to bed, because then you're in, in tetra. Yes. Yes, then it's, your your body automatically yes. already goes into this more yes. sleep state, yes. and um, so yeah, you want to and you want to have all your energy. You know, you don't want to because every single thought is energy. Yes. So you don't want to think about yes. uh, what you're going to, to do to do tomorrow. Yes. You will want to have all your energy in the now. Yes. Yes. To have all your energy focused on one single intention that you really want to create, yes. and um, and when you get to this alpha state, you know the, anything that you visualize in that very moment becomes so real, yes. and it becomes it 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 will believe what is what you are imagining when you are in the alpha or theta state. So how do you visualize? Do you, do you do it with it with your eyes closed. I I do both. I okay. do uh, yeah. I do and when I practice yes. uh, probably a new story when I'm uh, with my eyes closed, but I also would rehearse when I'm driving uh, to this interview. Yes. So I use my time um, very well okay. to be to to because when we are in this beta and we were driving the car, for example, you might we have 60, 70, 18, 19 thousand thoughts a day that are all over the place, yes. right? But you can spend your time and your energy only once, Yes. right? And so if you want to create something and if you want to, to look at where your life really is going, then you would only need to think about what you are thinking about the most of the time. Yes. That is your real intention. Yes. And feeling it, of course. Yeah. And what you're feeling. Yes. So if you have some secret thoughts about something, yes. right? And you think... Oh, the thoughts are staying in my in my mind, and nobody can hear me, yeah. and uh, you know nobody is seeing what I'm thinking. But, but you're actually creating something. You are, although creating. it's not visible yeah. yet. You are creating. You something. are creating. Yes. And you are sending out signals, yes. and you are sending out a, a vibration. So we are creators, whether we like it or not. Even if you don't want to be a creator, you're still a creator. If you know it or not, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, but during meditation, you get. That is really where the magic happens because then you are very suggestible. So, and you will, your body will believe what you are telling you. The story that you are telling yourself yes. will will be, um, you're giving yourself an energetic imprint. Yes. Yeah. I I I love uh, manifesting, and I've, I make vision boards and mind movies. And uh, what I noticed when I want to manifest something, that actually when I'm visualizing it, it's actually more exciting exciting than when it happens in the real world. I had it many times when yeah, a manifestation yeah, came yeah. in, a, oh yeah, okay. And, I went, and it's like a really big manifestation. And I'm not so excited. I yeah. was more excited when I was visualizing I it. That's so crazy. I was like, no. oh yeah, this happened. Oh, and then it's like, it's a, oh God, it's a really big deal. You should be happier actually. And I'm 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 happy, but not like super excited when I was doing the visualization. When I'm doing the visualization, I'm like in, in a, you know, in in total bliss sometimes. Yeah. But then when it really happens, oh cool! Like more, it's more a confirmation. Yeah, it is. But it's you already yes. you already been there. Yeah. So the work is actually <laughs> more exciting than getting the manifestation. I always have the same. Yes. So. And I'm like, this yeah. is strange. I should be super like happy now, yeah. uh, you know, in total bliss. But I'm not. I want to do something. You know, no. want to go to the next yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. And that's uh, interesting. Yeah, that's very interesting yeah. because you, 
did it, you, you reviewed it over and over and over and over, you know. So your, your body is already, is already it, really. Yeah. And then if you let go, it comes, and it comes in a way that you cannot expect, and it's bigger and more. Well, in many of my cases, it, it, tends, to be even, it tends to be even better. Yeah. Okay. It tends to be in it, the real it, world. Yeah, it tends to be it, t- it tends to be like more um, more more magical or even more than I could ever imagine. Yeah, yeah. and even maybe more surprising. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But it feels normal. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, and it should. The mechanics is very important for everyone who's listening and watching. Again, so if you want to manifest something, first thing is to visualize it. The first thing is to become very clear about what you want. Yes, and then again, I want to go to intention because yeah. we've been talking about intentions from our higher self or soul or the personality. Those are two different things, right? Yes. So is that important to you or do you say it doesn't matter? No, I think it really does matter because yes. um, uh, I also manifested things because I thought I wanted to manifest them. Yeah. And then in the end... It was a real disappointment. Yes, and it was and coming from your ego. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because I really wanted something to really work. Yes. So, um, no, I think um, asking yourself why you want that is the, a very important question. Yes. So, and how do you know that it's coming from your higher self or your soul, your intention to manifest something? Mm, well, I think asking yourself the good questions. Yes. So, uh, for example... Um, Okay, let's take, for example, money or financial freedom, for example. Yes. Uh, so I would ask myself, why would I want that? So then Because I, you want to be filthy rich? <laughs> no, no, not really, actually. It could be, be reason, and yeah. I, I'm fine with that, yes. you know, if anybody yes. wants to have yes. that experience. Yes. I'm, I'm totally fine. Yes. But for me, in, yes. personally, it's really about having more time. Yes. Um, to to study more and yes. to do what I love, yes. which is studying and which is creating, yes. uh, creating and teaching and and making very beautiful uh, programs and that is what I love to do, yes. and the rest will will come will come. Okay. And so, so I think I for myself I feel that is a good intention. Yes. The the, the why is 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 very clear to me. Okay. And you it's, feel that's coming from your higher yeah. self. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I don't feel I I in, okay. in personally I don't need a Porsche yeah. or something. You okay. know, it's it's not that I want big things. Yes. So, so time. So the why is the first step. Why? And yeah. and getting clear on really what you yes. want. Yes. Yeah. Being very specific being quite specific. Yes. I mean um if you don't really if you're not really able to write down what you want, I don't think you get very clear outcomes. So I like to be it quite specific, but it's personal. So write down what you want. That's my first step. And ask yourself why you really want it. Okay. And then you could think about what are the supportive, because if you, for example, want abundance, abundance in, in whatever, in let's say money, But what most people really want is freedom. Yes. So you would go to the feeling of how freedom would feel, not how it feels, you know, to be uh, exaggerated, uh, wealthy or whatever, but to feel freedom. And uh, I think that is very important. So what do you want to experience in that new future? What are the experiences you have? What, what things do you have? What, uh, who are you? in that future, who is the version of you who is having that abundance? Who is she or or he? What kind of, um, how does she, does she do? How does she speak? How does she feel? What, what are the typical uh, beliefs that a person that has that, that version of you, would, what, would, what would she think, right? Probably she wouldn't think in lack. Probably she would not be <clears throat> extremely jealous or, you know, um, No, she would have a, a different character. So I would take all these... But she would have healthy boundaries. Healthy boundaries, yes. yeah. Of course, but... Yes. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's re- it, it really also has to do with who do I need to be? Who do I need? It's, it's not about accomplishing all those things, but it's more like who do I need to be mm. and what do I need to feel and what do I need to think? Mm. So it's really about becoming a different person okay. at the end of the story. Okay, beautiful. I think this is a beautiful moment to yeah? have a break. Okay. 
And like uh, okay, 10 minutes. Christine, uh, can you give an example of something you manifested and how you did it? Okay. So, I, of course, I would have many examples. But um, I think one very significant example is that I growth was very important to me uh, in, in the sense of my, my business growth. Okay. It was very important. It was important for me to, um, to make money. Uh, was an important th thing in my life uh, over the past three years, I think. So I started to um, write a story, so write intentions about how my business would grow. So I would say literally, if uh, there came a moment in the meditation that I would have to set a really focused intention, then, then my really intention would be cosmic life grows. And I would make that very real in my mind by thinking about how, how I would have a team surrounding me, how I would work with people that are that will, will be giving me access, you know, to like other huge opportunities. But I think the very most important supporting um, visualization of that growth would be to feel and visualize um, and rehearse in my mind how people would feel if they would have done my courses. So, um, and I think that you will always have to look at the, um, you ne always need to look at the supportive um, feelings uh, and examples and scenarios and visualizations that, are, that make that true for you. So cosmic life grows can be, for someone, be very vague. You know, what, what, what do you talk about in terms abstract, of growth? Yeah. How abstract is it? Yes. You know, how much money would you like to, to make? Um, so for me, it was important that, um, that I could feel the feelings of how people would feel if, if they would, would have done my courses. And I could hear in my head what they would say and how they would react and how they would respond and how they would share it on, on social media. And um, I wanted to be a feeling of, Oh my goodness, I'm really blown away, you know, by all this uh, super interesting and fascinating stuff about how I can create um, a new reality. And that is exactly what happened. So when people would have done, uh, did my first course, for example, in the beginning of 2001, uh, tw uh, 2000, to, uh, so 2021. last year, 2021, 2001, um, this really happened. So um, it was my first bigger course, and out of nowhere, 2,000 people uh, were attending my course. And the reactions of, of after... Did this already happen? Or this it? already happened. Okay, wow, yeah, great. Yeah. But I did these meditations before that, yes. right? So and, and was there a specific number? Or? I, there was a specific number, and that was 2021. Wow, that's amazing, yeah. Yes. yes. So, um, I mean, you mean that I wanted to manifest? Yes. I did exactly that. Wow. So, uh, what was very, what I found very fascinating is that people really started to send me these messages in exactly the energy that I had uh, had thought about and had re had been rehearsing and feeling for them, you know, uh, before that, yes. months before that, yes. months. Yes. So it it um, it exactly happened in that way. Wow. And then it it you know uh, everything went so fast uh, over the last year and and manifestations after manifestations happened wow. really. Yeah, so I have to so, ask you this, yeah, uh, because. Um, we did a podcast together, <laughs> and uh, responses were overwhelming. I know it's and it it, it didn't stop. No, uh, it, did and it was not. amazing. I was like, oh, I know. oh my god, Christine must have manifested that for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, but did you do any visualizing on that podcast? Because that was, I mean, it's incredible. The I know. outpouring of of responses and love on on that podcast was amazing. And um, I was like. I and mean, we are communicating about it all yes. all the time. It's like, yes. whoa, it, it doesn't stop. And yes. I was like, this, I mean, it's, 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 for me, it has been an inc incredible experience as well to have that here in Belgium and the Netherlands. I've experienced that in other countries, but not here. And mm -hmm. that was for me an amazing experience. Yeah. 
Uh, so my answer to your question, if I have uh, put an intention on that specific podcast, is that I did. I did. Um, um, but I think the reactions, as they were, um, is like a normal thing for me. Okay, uh, so that's it, your it, reality. It, it's, yeah. my, it's my reality. Okay, and yeah. I, I see it happening now also with my new course that is yes. coming up. You know, people are so over excited and and you know it gives them goosebumps when they yes. think and that is that is the, the 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 energy that i feel in my meditations before it actually really happens yes. and and i i i also had an intention for this podcast so when i was driving to this and uh when i was coming over here i visualized it and i felt it and i felt how that would be so um I, th I I hope this is very specific. So, in my answer, that that yes, it is. Yeah. 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 So that was the supportive feeling. So I always look for the supportive scenarios and feelings that that make that happen. And so um, I wasn't really focusing on money very specifically, but that is what what of course what happens yes. when you have this kind of accelerated you know growth yes. and. Um, and and it it started to be so that I couldn't even you know uh, manage uh, yes. my whole growth. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It went too fast. It went too fast. Yes. So yes. your new course is Money Love Story. Let's talk about it. Okay. I assume that it's about writing a new script, a new story about your relationship with love. Is that correct? Um, it's it's about writing a new truth about writing a new story about yes. how your life would be if you have more financial freedom. Okay. But is it also about uh, wanting to manifest a certain amount of money? You can be very specific okay. about that. Yes. I mean, um, I, I, in my own intentions, I can also be very specific about that. But it's more about the supportive feelings about okay. being financial free because that is most of the time what people want is having yes. more energetic space yes. to do whatever they want with yes. whom they want and where they want and because um, I think that is very yes. important and yes. it's about creating a new reality for yourself in which you don't have those fears in which you don't have lack uh, about that specific topic money okay so yeah. let's let's talk about this yeah. because um, <clears throat> we already I already talked about it with Lou uh, Lou Nistat. Um, but what I noticed, again, is that so many people, especially, let's say, uh, who are already into, the, into spirituality, that uh, a lot of them have discovered what they want to do, what they love to do, what their soul calling is. Uh, but they still have issues with uh, money, with acquiring wealth. Um, and it seems to be a really big issue for, for a lot of people. Um, and I think it's also because of the negative programs that they have going on in their subconsciousness, right? Mm -hmm. So my question is, how do we write a new love story that also changes the programs in our, the negative programs in our subconsciousness so that we can replace them with positive programs on attracting money and wealth in our lives? Well, it also always starts with writing what you what you want. So, how okay. does that new future look like yes. for you, and how, what experiences do you have, and how do you feel when you have this more financial freedom? Yes. And I think a very important part is to indeed look at how your relationship is with money. Yes. So, for me, and I can only speak for myself and for my own experience, that I really had a hard time um, paying all my invoices. Right. Okay. So. Um, there was a time that I didn't open up even all my envelopes. And it You're was talking about your bills, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, um, my bills. So, it was very difficult for me to to give it away again, right? I, I would feel uh, I, I would feel lack. I would feel uh, I'm not having enough. Um, it would give me really a lot of fear and stress. So, I noticed that and I didn't want that anymore because it was just energetically filling up my energetic space 
in which I could do something else with that time and energy, thinking about, you know, the bills and, and having these negative emotions while paying it. So I started really looking at what my past story was about, about money and how I have been raised and what the situation was at home and what was being told about money and about... Um, about how it's supposed to be, you know, what, what money is in your life. So I started becoming very conscious, you know, just about how that was. And I decided um, I'm going to create a new story. And I started paying my bills with a different kind of energy, understanding that there is something going out and there is coming in. So there is like a flow of money going on and yes. that is okay. Yes. And maybe and you can also... Um, Rhonda Byrne, uh, who did The Secret and uh, other books, uh, she says, every time I receive a bill, I pretend like it's money for me. Right? Yeah, so she you turns could, it around. Yeah, you, so could, you could do she all these kinds of for a while, tricks. Yeah. Mind yes. tricks, yeah. yeah so every time she gets bills, happy hour, that's uh, yeah. for me. Yeah. I would send love to yeah. the to the to the person that yes. I that I would give it to and yes. I would would draw a heart, you know, around uh, yeah. uh, draw a heart, a heart yes. on the bill and then I could kiss it and give it away, and and actually, ever since I haven't really felt that anymore. Okay. So I'm really, I understand now. It's coming in, it's yes. going out, and there's coming more in than there's going out. But also the fact, you know, when more, much more money is coming in than going out, then you start to feel abundant as well, right? Yeah. If if ten thousand comes in and you have to pay thousand, then yeah. it's not such a problem. No, it's not a problem yeah. anymore. But yeah. I, I, I also do understand that there are people who are really have to start from scratch. Yeah. You know, with this with this topic, and uh, and I've been there too. Yeah. So I had it, and then I didn't have it at all, and then I ha I ha now I have it again. Yes. So I've been everywhere. Yes. And it became a really important topic in my life. Three years ago, when I when I said goodbye to my uh, to my job. Yes. So yeah. our, our mutual friend, uh, Dr. Roy Martina, was yeah. here, and he says here you have, you have different levels. He says if you want to start manifesting billions, mm -hmm. uh, of course. <laughs> we're talking about okay, if you talk with Roy, you have to think big. You yeah. Know? Uh, then uh, you have to do different things, and I I tend to disagree with that because I think it's you can you know, manifesting uh, hundred euro or 100 million or a billion, it's the same mechanics. Basically, it's the yes. same mechanics, but it is how far are you able to stretch your own yes. mind and wrap your wrap, yes. wrap all your yes. beliefs around the fact that you that, that is possible. I yes. mean, if I would say, if I would write down or go sit in my meditation and say that I'm going to be a billionaire... Uh, do you have resistance to that? I do. Okay, yeah. because for me it's I all do. energy. It is all energy, but I'm not there. I, I okay. mean, I'm, I've stretched myself already. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, I really yes. had, to, it was already, so I come from very far. Okay. Really, like, yes. uh, in in terms of what was possible for me. Yeah, but, but in, yeah. But when I was at, in your podcast, we talked about Oprah and JK. Yeah. And, and you agreed that your starting position was better than Oprah's, right? I think so. But Oprah yeah. went from super yeah. poverty, as yeah. poor as you can yeah. be, without having a roof over yes. your head, to... A billionaire. Yes. So she had to make a much bigger leap yeah. than you had to make from, yeah. you know, go starting where you were to where you are now. Yes. Right. That's not mm -hmm. such a big leap compared no. to what Oprah did. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. And J.K. Rowling the same story. She was in real poverty and then you know she became a billionaire. So they make a quantum leap right there. Yeah. They did. So they really did. But what what I think. For what for myself is true, yes. is that I was so insecure. I'm, I I I don't think okay. Oprah was so insecure and had such a bad story about herself and such a negative beliefs about herself. So, um, and I think everything goes hand in hand. Yeah, but so, with J.K. Rowling, it was the same thing, and we we talked about this earlier. But she said I was a very insecure person. But mm -hmm. there was one thing that I knew I could yeah. do that was write a good story. Yes. That was the only thing. And that was her lifeline yeah. to that success. Yes. Um, so maybe you had that too, that you, you know, you, in your own words, you are, you were an insecure person, yeah. but there was a lifeline and that was your curiosity or your intelligence. What was oh, your yeah. lifeline? Yeah, the, it, it was um, my passion, really. Your passion. Yeah, it was my, I, I started to notice that I was, became so fascinated, you know, by the topic of energy and quantum and neuro that 
the only thing that I wanted to do is study it until I, you know, until yeah. I could reproduce it and, yes. and apply it and teach it to other yes. people. So I think um, that uh, combined with trust yes. has helped me out, ha has helped me. Yes. Yeah. So, so you would not, because I always say I aim like always super high and if I only yeah. reach 10% then it's already still great. That's how I think, right? Okay. So reach for the stars, and if yeah. you only reach like 10% of yeah. your uh, of okay. your goal, then it's still great for most yeah. to most people. Yeah. And it's, maybe it sounds strange, but um, so I think if you know if you start to think, you might as well start to think big. Why you know if why not? Well, that is of course what I what I found out. Yes. So, <laughs> so I. <laughs> We can learn that from Donald Trump, right? <laughs> exactly. No, but uh, you, you know, but really, I saw yes. in my life that I yes. exactly get yes. what I am capable yes. of. What you believe of, you can do. Yes. yes. Yeah. And I, I mean, I manifested the house. I put many intentions yes. on my house, and it was exactly what yes. I could imagine yes. Yes. and believe it's true yes. for me. Yes. And I got that. Yes. And now I thought, huh? Why did I? <laughs> yes. Yes. Why did I think so small? Yes. So now I, I I I just starting to 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 dream bigger yes. uh, than I uh, than I did really. Yes. So I I came with baby steps yes. for where I am now, yes. and um, I just did it step by step. And yes. now I okay okay. So if I did this okay, then I might be it might be yes. even possible to get there. Yes. So so but you, would you not re recommend? For people to aim a little bit bigger than they believe, in order to stretch their beliefs, I would. Yes. I would. Yes. yes. I would. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. would because yes. because just by you know by repeating and rehearsing, um, in a way that you can make it really real for yourself, you can you know you can trick your mind yes. into it yes. into believing it, and then yes. you become it. You become the person yes. uh, that you need to be in order to manifest that. Okay. But Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I, all, you know, a lot of people, and in in Holland we have to, in in the United States it's a little bit different, but in the Holland it's don't think too big. It's not for you, and you know, just yeah. be normal and act normal. And so we 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 censor ourselves in many ways, where we say, oh, I cannot say that, I cannot think that. Um, and I think we are sometimes, if if we are, if our soul is love and infinite intelligence, then you know. Manifesting, for instance, money is not such a big deal for that intelligence, right? But no. we make it a big deal. Yeah, we make it. We yeah. make it ourselves in our mind. We yes. make it. We make yes. it. What we do, of, in in my opinion, is that we put everything as is it over there, yes. or it's over. It's in. It's it. It will take years to get there, right? Yes. We 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 experience with our senses yes. this 3D reality, yes. and we believe. We tricked ourselves into the into yes. the belief yes. that everything takes time. Everything uh, we need to struggle. We need to work very, really hard. We need to manipulate, control. Uh, you know, uh, do uh, all kinds. And when of you things. believe that, that happens. Right. And then that happens. But yes. yeah, I think the fun part yes. is that uh, is that there is this infinite field yes. of, of of infinite possibilities yeah. yes. in which there the version of you being already more financial free than you are right now. Is a given f is 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 a is a scientific fact yes. almost. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because we tend to think that everyone is struggling, but there are actually people who stumble into luck, who stumble into financial wealth, who are unconsciously competent. Yeah, they uh, are. And and they are a lot of successful people are unconsciously competent. They are successful, but they don't know why they are successful, and they don't even you know research Joe Dispenza or Bruce no. Lipton. Yeah. But they have yeah. problems. Uh, uh, problems, programs going on in their subconscious, um, and they have other problems, of course, you're right, I mean, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. that are very strong when it comes to acquiring wealth, for instance. Yeah, yeah. so so they have, from the beginning, a, a, a yeah. specific program which yes. supports, yes. Uh, which supports that, that you have, like, yes. enormous amounts of wealth, and yes. that it's very normal yes. uh, for them, you know, to, to have that. Yes. And they don't seem to have that programming yes. going on. Yes. There are, there are people, and so. I mean, you, you can find this on YouTube, that actually, for instance, dream the winning lottery numbers. They dream it and they win the lottery, like the, yeah. the, 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 the Powerball in, in the United States, which is a really big uh, lottery. And they become very, very wealthy overnight. And then, of course... Uh, they some of them lose it 
within a you know short amount of time because if they have negative programs, they don't know how to manage the money. Um, but it is interesting that it is possible to change your financial life overnight. I mean, there it are is. so many stories. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it, it all has to do with programming yourself yes. into the belief that yes. it's possible. And yes. I, don't, I, I know there are many okay. some tricks about yes. doing that, but I'm not really interested in that myself. Yes. So, uh, yes. No, I, I just, I, I yeah. just well, you know, in your money love story, um, I, I agree that you have to start manifesting something that you believe you can do it. If you don't believe it, it's very going to be very hard. But at the same time, through repetition, you can stretch yourself. Yes, sure. Uh, because sometimes we are limiting ourselves, so we have to find balance there, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, but but I also see it like a fun game. You know, yeah. I, I manifested like what I for me what, in my mind it wasn't possible. Like a few years ago, yes. if you would have told me, you know, what I manifest like in uh, last year. Incredible, right? Yes. Was I able, was I me, yes. this person, you know what I was talking about, that old version yes. of me, super insecure, um, able to do this myself without any help, without, you know, without not just me. Yes. And um, I thought that was so interesting that I thought, wow, I really want to make a, a course about my own experience yes. and how I did that and how I can help others with it. Yes. So that was my intention, and my intention with this course is that anybody who, who's who's doing this course should see um, um, a, a better ha, have a better perspective in terms of wealth and a more financial freedom than they had before. I'm not saying millions. I'm not. It's for everybody really different, yes. but yes. to see an improvement yes. in but their you, money situation. But you do agree that in terms of you know if everything is energy and everything is one, that the amount. Can you know you can you can say hundred or thousand? It doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. That actually yeah. doesn't really matter. Yeah. It really yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. But it's just that we're so programmed that yes. we believe and yes. we're tricked into the fact yes. that it's not possible. Yes. And there is this analytical mind saying, yeah, but how? Yes. You know, if I if I would say a billion, for example, and I would see and I would look at this year, for example, yeah. then I would see, okay, I have one course. That I'm. Yes. How would that be possible? That yes. I, with only this but course, have. Been that's the mind. But exactly. the how is not your. No, it's not problem. your job. It's not your no. job. No. And it's no. really. I think that's really important information. That yeah. how to get there is not your job. Your job no. is to do your visualizations, feel it, align with the energy, yeah. right? Yeah, and acting like it. Yes, and acting like it. Yeah. And then at the same time, trusting. Yeah, and let go, and yeah. let go. Yeah. Because if you... And be grateful for your little victories. Yeah, yes, yeah. And, and also to have fun uh, during the process of yes. creating. Because when you go look, if you're looking for it, where it's, if it's on your bank account already, in that specific moment you are already in the vibration of lack. Yes, but you can also, so. when you look at your bank account, you can see the number that you wanted. Oh, it's there, great, <laughs> right? But but of course yes. you can imagine that. Yeah, but, but that's the no. way how you manifest. It, I know, right? I know. You have to trick yourself yeah. all the time into yes. it. Yes. So. Um, so uh, okay. No, but so for you, for you, yeah. you, you have a number. You don't have to share no. with that. Do you I have like know. an ultimate number that you would like to? For this year, yes. And if, if ultimately, I ultimately. Ultimately. Well, it's funny that you're asking because I've been thinking about that and I'm starting to play a little bit bigger than I used to. Okay, so you yeah. have that number now. Yeah. So. Okay, trick yourself now that you have that. How does that feel? You really have it. You're good at this, tricking yeah. yourself into believing it. So how does it, you have that number, you're not, you don't have to share it with us. Mm -hmm. But how does that feel? Well, it really feels normal. Okay. And I think that is very important. Yes. Because everything that you wish for is already there, right? Yes. In the quantum field, um, so you don't have to be super excited then if it's normal. No, you just actually have to be and well, you can be and very excited, but it's it's also like normal, yes. right? Because the per, the version of me who would be already having it and living it, it's normal. Yes. I don't think that the person who has it yes. is very excited all the time yes. because of its wealth. It's yes. just normal. Yes. I think. Yes. Well, that's 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 how I practice it yes. myself. So I try to feel how it would be 
and then I would try to practice that it feels so super normal. Yes, and you so, can so actually I myself into you, it. You can actually have that amount of money and have a super normal life. You of know, when course. they you know Warren Buffett, one of the richest people in the world. At one point, they interviewed his children. He has two boys, uh, one daughter, and they interviewed them for a documentary. And they asked, "So, how was it, you know, growing up with your dad being like the richest man in the United States?" And they said, "We didn't know he was rich. They had no clue because he's living a very modest life, and they just had a normal middle-class American life in Omaha, Nebraska, and they didn't know." But Warren Buffett is not good at spending money; he's very good at acquiring it. But they didn't know. They had just a normal house, normal middle class life, and they didn't know. No. Right? Mm -hmm. So you you can be very wealthy, and the question is, is always like, do you want to look rich or do you want to be rich? Those are two different things. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, for me, it's being. Yes. But, but being is an energy, right? Yeah. But you don't have to live in a mansion. No. And you can still be very wealthy. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course. And. I think this is very important. Yes. And and but but the feeling that you would like to feel is probably I mean you can ask yourself the question how would it feel yes. if I would have this this or that but I think it's very I speak for many people if I would say that you would be, would be very relaxed if you would have acquired like I don't know uh, yes. amounts of money it would be so relaxed I mean I think I mean I, I yeah, don't know I, I, would, I think at the same time uh People who have big kind, uh, the, that kind of wealth, they have to manage more, and they have more to lose as well. Yeah, I don't know uh, if you have to manage more. Yeah, they you have, have to manage. To, you, yeah, yeah. yeah, but you, if you, I mean, if you don't have all those houses, and if you don't, if you just stay normal, yes, it's just there. Yes, I think. Yes, but, well, but, but yeah, but, with, but, with the infl inflation and everything that's going on. Yeah, of course, you yes, have to I, think about what you do with the money, and yes, you have to think how yes, to invest it, yes. and, and then th that becomes a part of yes, your life, yes. uh, probably. But, yes. but uh, yeah. because a lot of uh, wealthy people lost a lot of money because of the stock market and went down, and 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 and, and inflation. I mean, the euro, the value of the euro really went down. Yes, and and those are all things they are consumed with. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's that become you have new problems. Yeah, you have yeah. new problems. Yes. So the problems will be always there. Yes. Also, yeah. if you know how to manifest yes. anything, yes. I mean, there will always be new yes. situations. Yes. So, but, so, but for me, it means I'm being uh, introduced to a new level of abundance. So yes. I would see it as yes. really cool. Yeah. So, so a great way to manifest more wealth is to visualize rich people's problems, right? <laughs> well, if we say, <laughs> if we, maybe. <laughs> I wouldn't do that myself, but <laughs> yeah. That's I, a good one. Yeah, it's a yeah. really good one. Yeah. Maybe some people would like to try. Yes, we can I don't. try it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, money Love Story. I, I love the title. Um, <laughs> and I think it, you know, um, people can already purchase it right now, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's open for enrollment and for, yes. Okay. So, so it's open. Yeah, and, and it's it's called money love story because I think it's so important that when you try practicing this new truth, that you really fall in love with your new life, with this new with this new vision. So much so that you that you really forget about your old story because it's really about letting go this old story and putting all your intention, your your attention and all your energy on what you do want. Yes. And and the more beautiful you can make this new story, yes. the more you fall in love with it, the more you feel the emotions yes. of the future, the more you're programming yourself into the future. Yeah. And the more real you make it, the faster it will yes. you will attract it to you. I, I would like to talk about something powerful. Um, I, I've been asked by many people the last few years to, to coach them on, on, on money. Mm -hmm. uh, people who are spiritual, who have found their sole purpose, but who still have issues with uh, the money. And, and we talked about the negative program in the subconscious. And what I notice, we do a 100-day program, uh, and this is a one-on-one, one -on -one, I do this, and they have to do for 100 days exactly what I say, mm -hmm. and I'm really strict. But what I start to notice uh, with many of them is once they, st at one point when they start to, you know, be in their 40th or 50th, 60th day, little things start to happen. All of a sudden, there is money in their bank account that was not supposed to be there. And then they think, oh, this is a mistake. And they start to call like, they, you know, you made a mistake. And I think, no, you have manifested this 
And now you start to sabotage yourself again yeah. because those little miracles are happening right now. And if you can be grateful for those little miracles, you know, you cannot receive more. You have to celebrate your little victories. And if money starts to come in new ways, in ways that you didn't expect, in surprising ways, then you have to start yeah. you know, feeling grateful for it and not saying, oh, this is a mistake, oh, this never happened. And that's their first response all the time. Yeah, yeah, funny. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, because yes. they're really not used to they're it. They're not used to it. No, no, no. But I think it's interesting because it's exactly the resistance again yes. and you stop really the flow yes. again of, of having abundance yes. coming into your yes. life. Because I always like, I really liked um, what Abraham Hicks, uh, she wrote about this, like everything you want is at the other side of the door, yes. literally, yes. literally. And the only thing in between that is your own resistance and your own resistance towards receiving it and towards being worthy of receiving, yes. feeling worthy to receive and, yes. and, and your own resistance in terms of your beliefs for yes. what's possible for you. Yes, be so. beca because the energy of, oh, they made a mistake, yeah. they gave me more than I deserve. And is, yeah, that's one response. But I think the right response would be, hey, great, I manifested this. I'm not going to call them. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and this happens all. The, I, 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 this happens to me all the time. Things glitch, um, and I, I, I never say, "Oh, they made a mistake," but I, I I'm trying to teach that too. Like, yeah. Okay, you manifested. This is yeah. oh, this is not an accident because if you say, "Oh, this is an accident," yeah, then you manifest more of that awareness. Like, "Oh, it never happens again." Yeah, and and what I also think is very important is that you feel the magic of it, yes. and with that energy, you have more energy to create more again, right? Yes. So take that energy into the future and take that energy to create again. Yes. So uh, that's how I would. Yes. do it myself yes. so like staying in the magic like yes. wow you yes. know uh, I manifested it yeah, so that you, you talked about normal so that magic becomes your new normal yeah 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 it, 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 and you don't want to the magic to end yes so if I uh, I have a period of time that I'm so busy and I'm not really um, uh, I'm not able to really do my practices uh, then I think it's just it's no fun Yes. I just want to do it. I just want to put my energy and my attention and get up different from my meditations, feeling different yes. as, as, as as I went in bef before. Yes. So, but 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 I, I I experienced that there are times in my life, and I said it earlier that you know that nothing happens, right? And that you start to do your, you do your visualizations every day, your practices every day, and you live in those. Uh, visualizations and practices every day and then yeah. one all of a sudden uh, a wave comes and you are so busy and yeah. so much happens and you don't have time to do it anymore because you're living it yeah right yeah, I, you're I just living that. it like uh, yes. you're everywhere and all yeah. the time and people call you and you have you know you have yeah. so many things that just happen and you're you're experiencing this this avalanche of abundance in so many not only in money but in terms of Everything. recognition yeah. uh, attention and then all of a sudden that avalanche spits you out again because you need time for yourself yeah i, I recognize and you need to be alone yes and you need to start visualizing yes. again and focusing yes. again that's my experience yeah i have exactly yeah. the same yeah exactly the same yeah. so over last year um i mean numbers are interesting but um, I had this intentions course at the beginning of uh, last year, and then 2,000 people were uh, were joining. So that was really a lot. And I was doing everything on my own back then. So I didn't have a team. Uh, well, you cannot even imagine. I was sitting, you know, in my pajamas, writing emails to people who could not get their workbook downloaded, whatever, all kinds of things. And that's all and already a full-time job. That was, yeah, well, yeah. really. And... And in the meantime, I had to create content. And in the meantime, I had to promote the course. But then um, we did abundance. Uh, my abundance course last year, we also set the intention 4,000. And it became 4,000 people wow. in the course. And um, so that whole year was really like extremely like a rocket. And yes. um, after that, I, I, I could, couldn't... I really was... I had to stop yes. and had to. So the last six months, I didn't do anything. And I was really actually humbled down yes. to just being 
I was uh, I had a break of social media yes. uh, of almost a month yes. and and just doing nothing and then yeah. I felt the energy again to yes. to come something. Yeah, I, I I I I was listening to uh, a conversation with um, Abraham Hicks. Let's, as Esther Hicks is channeling Abraham. Yeah, I know. And um, someone was asking Abraham at that specific venue, are you, are you, uh, the question was, Abraham, are you not disappointed that there are not thousands of people here, but there were only like maybe 100 people? And I said, no, because it's not about the people that are here, it's about being at the cutting edge, at the leading edge of thought. And that's, that's where we want to be. Not, it's not about the amount of people, and that's what I experienced uh, too. It doesn't matter how many people um, are there listening to you. It matters that you are doing what you are supposed to do. Yeah, of course, yes? of course. And I think that's much more important than focusing on how many people am I going to reach. And on the on the other hand, it's great that you are able to do that. Mm, yeah. Well, well, of course, I yeah. I like to be in the energy of the moment, but yes. I I do notice that. The more people are attending, yes. the, the energy of the group gets very different. Yes. So in a good way or in a bad in way? In a good way, in okay. a really good way. Because I also did one course with 200 people over uh, last year, yes. and the energy was really different. So what I see is that when a group of people comes together, yes. the and we we all together do the same thing and 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 increase our our, our energy, our frequency is that um, people start getting so excited that the transformation is going really fast. So I, I do do see your point, like it doesn't matter. Yes. No, I mean, I'm happy with yes. when, yes. I, when I can do what I love to do, but I do also see um, a really point, a good, po good point in being with many people together. So are you so adjusting your material in order to reach more people? No. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, maybe, I no. mean, that's uh, just a no, legitimate no, no. question, right? No, uh, well, I don't know. I just do what I think I should okay. be supposed to do. Yeah, be because you, you create this material and at yeah. the same time you have a goal uh, about how many people you want to sell it to. Yeah. Um, so, you, But you still are true to your vision. Oh, yeah, I think that's... A f I love this question, actually, yes. because... Um, First, I wanted to, to this this course would be would have a different name. Yes, and I th I came up with the idea first money magnet. So there's a real different energy around. Absolutely, you can hear it, you can feel it. I mean, it's yeah, a more you know. masculine energy. Yes, yes, yes. and uh, I was already quite far in the process in 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 terms that we already had designs ready. Uh, so I had invested already in in that um, um, in that course. Actually, you asked me the question uh, whether I was really ready because after we talked uh, a few days later, I had to launch. I was I was um, ready to launch. Uh, ready to launch, yeah. really. So, but then uh, I couldn't somehow couldn't do the, the story. I couldn't really find the essence of it. You know what my message was, and I couldn't get it out. I couldn't write about it, and I thought, oh. I think I think I shouldn't do this, and so um, yeah, I, I really listened, and maybe I don't know, but maybe that that name would have been better for many people. I I don't know, of course, but um, but I I just stayed true to uh, to my feelings, and I changed the whole course. I changed the name. I mean, we got new designs uh, in a complete different energy. Uh, so we done we re redone everything, and uh, now it feels so good to talk about it. And I see there is a flow in writing. Yeah, and I love um, the, the and, title. And, and, yeah, it's and much now, better. I feel. Yes, it's so soft. Yeah. Yes. And um, it's really about love. Yes. And about falling in love and yes. feeling the love of this new life and feeling the love for life itself. Wow. So um, and then the rest will fall into place. Wow. I think. Yes. Well, that's here. If you get the inside yeah. right, then the outside will yes. fall into place. So, is there something that you want to leave us with? So, so an important message that you would like to share before we uh, end this conversation? Yeah, I do. I, I when I look at my own uh, development, um, many people ask me, "How did you do it? And uh, how come that you that you've grown so fast?" And we see a complete different change. And and I think. 
there are so many things that I did. So it's in, and it did not happen overnight, but it did happen with uh, with commitment, with making a very firm decision uh, of 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 a decision of, of of creating a new life. Um, I think that's so so super powerful, and um, of course re rehearse and doing doing all the steps that it takes to to really change, but. And, and faking it till you make it, is that... Uh, no, I actually don't really do that. Okay. But I really do walk in the energy yes. of my new version. Yes. So, I, I, yes, I, I somehow fake it. Yes. But it's it in terms, it's, it's really subtle. It, yes. mean, it means like I'm sitting more up, up, upright. Yes. If I think about my future, I'm generating a different frequency uh, just by thought alone, right? So I think about it, I get more, I, I sit more upright or I walk more upright and then in the specific moment I am walking like it already yes. and yes. the more you practice it the more you will become it or you be it yes. and you radiate that energy yes. and there is if there is a vibration vibrational match between what you want and the potential in the in the quantum field yes. then then there is no other opportunity then then there is no other possibility that you will draw the future towards you yes. so so the the real secret is live in that reality, like as much as you can, as much as you yes. can, in that and you, frequency, and yeah. you have to feel it yeah. with elevated emotions, yeah. and live there, and not focus on what's happening right now in your real reality, but focus on the reality you want to live in. Yeah, keep your focus on on what you yeah. want and be greater than your than your than your yes. situ than your situation in this reality yes. right now. And do it consistently. And do it consistently and keep your energy as high uh, and connected yes. to 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 this love story that you want yes. as much as you can and and try to see whether you can catch yourself when you fall from grace. Yes. So when you get when you're off. Yes. Really. And that's part of the process. That's okay. That's uh, a major part of the yeah, process yes. to catch yourself yes. in the moment when you fall from grace. Yes. And every yeah. day, every day you start at zero again, you have to start again. I just do it over yeah. and over again yeah. until I'm think yes. I'm I'm ready to let it go. But you and then you want to let go? But you are living proof it works. Uh, you sometimes I think, think if think I can so. do this, any anyone can do this. Or? I do think yeah, that. Yeah, I yeah. really believe that because I I, I think. Well, you heard my story, right? I yes. mean, uh, I really was, um, I had a firm belief that I, uh, that I wasn't nothing, that I wasn't yes. good enough to have this li life that I'm living right now. Yes. And um, so I believe that for everybody this is possible and it is just a matter of what story you are telling yourself yes. and changing it to a different story yeah, and, and then one rehearsing it. And then one big question. Yeah. Um, for how long? How long did it take you to change your reality? Because mm -hmm. you started to, to to write this new script. Yeah. You started to feel this new script, visualize yes. it. When was it? Three months, four months, six mm -hmm. six months, Question. one year. When yeah. when did you start to see real changes? Good question. So, um, I actually most of the time see little synchronicities coming into my life, ge getting feedback from the work and the energy that I invested time to create my future. Sometimes in a week already, it was so powerful, the meditation, that within a week I see a synchronicity coming up. Meaning uh, I'm getting a phone call uh, or uh, something, you know, new chances and possibilities are, are coming my way. They're coming my way. So yes. I don't have to go after things. It's coming to me. Um, but... You don't chase, you attract. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So um, that's the whole point, yes. of course. So, but this did not happen overnight, but it, my life really, it took me really like one, two years of practicing different kinds of intentions all the time, making new practices for myself uh, in order to come where I am right now. So in the beginning, it went very slow because I didn't practice. <laughs> I didn't. I only learned, and I didn't put put much into practice. And when I started practicing, it started to accelerate and accelerate even faster. Oh. Oh. So, if people would like to register for your money love story, where where how can they do that? Um, uh, through my website. Okay. So that is cosmiclife.nl, uh, yeah. and then they will find the course immediately, yes. Yes. and uh, you can subscribe uh, for that. We start in September. 19th of September, 
five days. And what's the, immersion? The number you want to have? How many people do you want to? Would you uh, like to? Have? You will see. Okay. Oh, but you have a yeah. number of in your course. mind. Yes. Course, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Christine, I would like to thank you for this conversation. Brene okay. Brown says, "What makes you vulnerable makes you beautiful." Thank you oh, thank for you. you know sharing so honestly from your heart. I think that everyone felt this. And everyone recognized this. Through your vulnerability, people can really connect with you. So that's a strength, right? Yeah. So yeah. it's okay to show that. Yeah. And I think it's very good, actually, that you did yeah. that. Thank you. And Thank you. I hope uh, we get to do this again in Dutch uh, very soon. I hope so, too. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Oké, okay, we gaan het openen voor uh, vragen in het Nederlands. Dus uh, dit is je kans om vragen te stellen aan Christine. Wie wil als eerste een vraag stellen? 